For our online show special, we've selected five campsites that give you a flavour of the scenery and attractions that Camping with a Club opens up for you. First up, it's Glencoe Club Site, where you get a spectacular view of the mountains from your pitch. Welcome to Glencoe Club Site in the Highlands of Scotland, a top club site for photography the campsite is found in an idyllic setting. There are dedicated accessible facilities, plus a family shower room. The site is geared up to welcome backpackers and all member and non-member units are welcome. There are a hundred mixed pitches available. The northern end of the West Highland Way passes within nine miles of the campsite. For little explorers or a little explore, try the ferry ride across Loch Linney. Catch the boat from nearby Corran to Ardgower and enjoy a short yet scenic crossing. Venture up the coast to Fort William to catch the Jacobite steam train. The 41 mile route is the same as that taken by the Hogwarts Express in the Harry Potter films, so as you can imagine, there's plenty of stunning scenery along the way. This part of Scotland is famous for its hills and mountains. There are 282 of these hills which are over 3,000 feet in height. See you at Glencoe Club site soon for your next trip to the Highlands. Next, it's Loch Ness Shores Club site, where you can pitch up alongside Scotland's most famous stretch of water. As the name implies, Loch Ness Shores Club site occupies a stunning location on the shores of Scotland's second largest and perhaps most famous loch. Our Loch Ness campsite has a total of 99 pitches, with a great mix of pitch types. Facilities on site are top-notch. In addition to the eco-friendly and modern amenity blocks with underfloor heating and home-from-home -home shower rooms, there's also an on-site shop and an Airstream diner. The incredible views from site make this site a real gem. With direct access to the loch, boats suitable for fishing and kayaking are both available for hire. Kids will love the children's play area, and backpackers will make great use of the dedicated backpacker facilities on site. The campsite is found on the quieter southeastern shore of the loch, and there's plenty to be explored nearby. The village of Foyers is perhaps the closest, where you can stock up on supplies and take in the Falls of Foyers. Urquhart Castle, owned and run by the National Trust, is close by on the western shore of the loch. Now a ruin, it played a key role in the wars of Scottish independence and occupies a stunning location. Fort Augustus and Drumnodochit are both pretty towns local to the campsite. Fort Augustus sits at the southern end of the loch and is a favourite watering hole for visitors to the Caledonian Canal. Drumnodochit is perhaps the biggest draw for Loch Ness monster hunters. Climb any number of hills around the edge of the town for spectacular views of Urquhart Bay and the wider loch. See you for some Nessie spotting at Loch Ness Shores Camping and Caravaning Club site. Now we head to Nairn Club site, where you'll camp in the solitude of a highland forest, but still have the town's blue flag sandy beach nearby. Welcome to Nairn Club site on Scotland's Sunshine Coast. Nairn Camping and Caravaning Club site is small, with a good mix of pitches available. It's nestled within a beautiful highland forest with walks through woodland and to the beach direct from site. The sandy beach at Nairn has views of the Moray Firth to the Black Isles, and the coastline often plays host to pods of dolphins. There are actually two beaches here, both of which have been awarded blue flags. The sands are wide and expansive, and backed by dunes, so a perfect spot for a walk. Nairn Town hosts many activities throughout the year, and in August, Scotland's only free entry Highland Games. Nairn Harbour has been built up around an ancient fishing port to become a popular facility with moorings for hundreds of boats. The route from Nairn to the A9 and beyond takes in stunning scenery. Spot cyclists and walkers en route to Cock Bridge. Our Nairn holiday site team look forward to welcoming you soon. Next, we head to our campsite on the Isle of Skye, where you'll pitch up on a working croft to enjoy the island's stunning scenery. To enjoy stunning scenery, wildlife watching and stargazing, 
Head to the shores of Loch Greshenish on the beautiful Isle of Skye and you will find our Skye Club site which enjoys an open aspect. Pitch up and enjoy spectacular views of the Loch and Hills beyond. The campsite is a working croft, so your neighbours include magnificent Highland cattle and sheep, with ducks and hens pottering about. Freshly laid duck and hen eggs can be bought from the on-site shop, and you can also go sea fishing directly from the site. Facilities include an award-winning amenity block, which includes a family shower room and limited mobility facilities. Sky has glamping options too. There are two cosy camping pods, one of which is dog friendly. There's also two quality yurts kitted out with double beds and everything you could need for a comfortable stay. There's plenty to explore out and about too, including Dunvegan Castle, the oldest continuously inhabited castle in Scotland. Neast nice Point on the most westerly top of Sky is considered the best place to see whales, dolphins and porpoises. It has one of the most famous lighthouses in Scotland. Portree is the main town on Skye with a pretty harbour. Here you'll find the Arrow Centre, which hosts theatre, films and concerts, and you can find out more about the Isle through a series of exhibitions. If you fancy getting on the water to spot whales, dolphins, sea eagles and puffins, Stardust Boat Trips and Bella Jane Cruises both offer a choice of trips. We look forward to welcoming you to Sky very soon. And finally, we head to Judborough Club site in the rolling countryside of the Borders. Judborough Club site is the perfect base for a trip to the Scottish Borders. A small site with a good mix of pitches. Members and non-members tents, trailer tents, caravans and motorhomes are welcome. Judborough Town Centre can be reached easily from the campsite. Find yourself in this pretty little market town of great strategic importance, which dates back to the 9th century. Continue walking and follow the two mile long town trail to take in other medieval landmarks, including Jedburgh Castle Jail, Queen Mary's House and Bonnie Prince Charlie's House. A short hop over the border in England, Kielder Water and Forest Park offers a range of activities, including walking, cycling, stargazing, sailing and canoeing, there's plenty of space, 250 acres in fact. However you choose to camp, our Jedburgh Holiday Site Team looks forward to welcoming you on site soon. If you enjoyed this guided tour of Scotland club sites as part of our online show, be sure to check out other Scottish sites on our YouTube channel or head to the club website to book your next camping break now.